men and women came and told us that God had a plan for our lives. Yes. But when we look back, mm -hmm. we wonder what in the world really have taken place. Everything seems like it. Look like everything that could happen did happen. Uh, everything didn't look like the prophecy that was prophesied. Come on, come on. This was the year that it looked like everything around you, amen, was toxic curse. You couldn't find nobody to come to your rescue. But you ought to tell your neighbor, neighbor, I became better and not this. Some of you are supposed to have been bitter in this season of your life. But instead of me becoming bitter, I became better. Because I knew God had a plan for my life. God had something in store for us. Yes. So we're looking at it tonight at a standpoint that God is getting ready to take the church into a higher place. Yeah. If you look at it, I want to talk to you about the word called Yom. God is beginning to work or throw or work. This is the year of double portion of the Lord entering the house of the open door. Yeah. Mm. If you don't have an open door that was somewhere God to come in and reside in your place, then you will not experience a double portion on this year. Yeah. You got to make sure that God is a part of your life. Yeah. This season we're going to experience an overflow. This year we're going to experience a double portion of the Lord in the, in the body of Christ. Yes. Nourishment and food from heaven and fasting like never before. Amen. God is telling us this year he wants us to watch and see this year that the Lord is getting ready to enter into an open door. Amen. What happened last year, there were doors that were closed because we couldn't handle what God was about to do in our life. Amen. 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 So you couldn't handle money coming right here. All right. Amen. Amen. So you couldn't handle millionaire status if God would have dropped it on you in 2014. Amen. Some of you couldn't handle, amen, driving a nice car living in a fancy house. Amen. Because your Christian life was not lining up with your natural life. Amen. So God now has to get the natural life to line up with the spiritual life. Come on. Amen. And the church is on course. So now, in this year, God is realigning the body of Christ. Yes. Amen. He's calling us to go into a place with him that we've never been with. Oh. Amen. I have not seen this move and ears have not heard. So we're looking at what's about to take place. God is getting ready to sit in the midst of his feet. We had to cry some tears. We had to shed some tears because God wanted you to know you had too much in the way. My Lord. Oh, God. You were focusing too much on you and less on me. So we got to understand we was always going around telling people, do you remember what I went through? And then we were always reminding people of things that I went through in life. We were always reminding people that you know I've been hurt by the church. How long, preacher? That had been bad experiences in life. But we never took a moment in there to say, when I came of the goodness of me, I know that he's done for me, the Holy Spirit. Amen. My soul cries out, hallelujah. Amen. But you always had enough nerve to tell somebody, amen, I've been hit by the trials of life. Amen. You've been hit by the trials of life because God is trying to get you to a place in the kingdom. Right. Right. 
This shall be the year where the Lord enters into us. He's coming for the heart of the church. My Lord. In the house is a new and fresh wave of the anointing. The Lord will overflow us in the year of 2015. Only those with experience it is those that have spent quality time with God. So I don't care how many people come and prophesy to you and tell you this is going to be a magnificent year in your life. The only way that it will be a magnificent year is if you spend quality time with God. I don't care what kind of title you have. I don't care how many tongues you speak in. But if you don't hear what God is saying, you will not walk in the season of overflow. God is entering into an open door. I keep talking about an open door because our heart has to be connected to the door. And the problem is the church heart is not in position. The church mind is not in position. See, the night is the start of joy. See, we ought to have some type of joy. Amen. We ought to have some unspeakable joy. We ought to have some joy that was life changing. Because in the year that I went through, I had a lot of hit in life. Amen. But I'm here at the close of another year that the Lord has allowed me to see that I know that I should have seen. Uh, if the devil would have had his way, he would have cut you out of here. Amen. So there's no way I can come in here tonight and be quiet because I just got my heels on. I just got some kind of hand in my head. And I got my kind of shoes on. Amen. But when I think of what he's done, I don't have no choice but to give him praise. Amen. 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 You have to tell somebody on your road, you might have to excuse me tonight because I might just have a flashback of where you brought me from. Hey, man, you don't have to excuse me, baby. Hey, man, I can't come in here and look deep in pain and take the body and know that I was on my way to a devil's hell. Hey, man, all the way and messed up, jacked up, hey, man, for the floor. And hey, know if God didn't reach down and pick me up on the rock, then the rock of my life would have been messed up. So I'm not going to wait to 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 15, and then my 12 o'clock is right now. And then every time when I came up in here, it was my 12 o'clock. And then when I woke up this morning, it was my 12 o'clock. Because God made a way out of nowhere in my life. I'm not going to wait to some clock. Amen to another second for me to bless God. Amen. I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. And His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I'm not going to think about what I went through. God is releasing in the fivefold ministry a release of intercessory prayer for the church. An amazing season where the double and the quadruple, amen, portion of God comes of him entering into those who have an open door. Thus the overflow brain is nourishment. Listen here. It's going to bring created miracles. That's why we didn't see miracles take place in 2014 because the church was not in alignment. We didn't see creative miracles because our life was not lining up to what God wanted our life to be. Amen. Amen. We're getting ready to rest in this season. Amen. And we're getting ready to see transformation. Amen. Where the apostolic relief will be manifested in a greater power. My God. Everybody that cry out that they are an apostle doesn't necessarily mean they've been called by God. Yeah. If you don't know how to take a hit and keep right on going, if you don't know how to suffer and lay down your life and say, God, I'm naked before you're here, and I take me into the place where you're calling. Yeah. I would not remember the former thing. 
nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. And we're right back to new beginnings again. Yes. Yeah, where God is getting ready to take the church into a new place. This is the year that we're not going to focus on the materialistical things. Praise the Lord. We're going to focus on our life being aligned and in tune with the Holy Spirit. Church, you need to realize that you got to give God exactly what he's looking for. You can't give God a half praise because he didn't come to your rescue when you wanted him to. Amen. Any time that you wake up in the morning, amen, that's enough to give God praise for. Right there. Amen. Any time that you are able to put food on your table, it might not be what you want, amen, but maybe because you're able to eat and somebody else don't even have nothing on their table, amen, you still have a right and a reason to bless God. Yes. 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 And I was looking around. Mm -hmm. And I said, God, I wonder why mm -hmm. it's the church mighty quiet. Come on. Mm -hmm. Are the tigers, are they still focusing on what they're doing? Mm -hmm. God said that in order to experience a new movement, mm -hmm. you've got to come out of the old. There's no way you can experience a new movement mm -hmm. and still holding on to the old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You've got to denounce who you are. Yeah. I call on the one that has more power than you have. Yeah. And this is what happened to the church. This is why the church is being weakened down. is because the church is focusing on what they are going through. God yeah. delights in doing something new. Amen. Yeah. Even more God delights in involving us in the things that he do. Right. Unfortunately, the new things are the things which often make us uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. We don't like to be uncomfortable. We don't like for God to deal with our uncomfortable. We like to be in a place called comfortable. Yes. Yes. We like to be in a place where we can have money when we go to the bank. Yes. We like to be in a place where we can just swipe out the card and it will not decline, but it will come back, amen, with a positive result. Come on. Yes. It's not, but when you get up in a line of people and you swipe the card and it say decline, Amen. Church folks don't like stuff like that. Come on. Amen. So how is it that you want to say that you are an example of Jesus Christ if you never be denied in your life? Sometimes you got to be denied. Yes. There's some things in you that's going to have to be denied. Amen. And that in order to pick up your cross yes. and follow him. My God. Uncomfortable leads us to unseen circumstances. Yes. We are not sure how to handle this which we face in life. Yes. Hallelujah. Unseen circumstances that pick us up off guard. I didn't see this one coming, but it keeps me on the way. I thought I was ready for it. 2014, you thought you was ready for the things that hit you. But it caught you on a way, I didn't. And some of you, it crippled you. That's why you can't praise God. It's because you got a lift. Oh! 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 
But if I can drag my leg out, keep right on praising the cross. If I be crippled, I may be. I'm still going to bless God. I uh, may be, I'm going to learn how to drag the leg, pull it, amen, and praise God with the other one. Pull this one, come on here, and bless God at all times. Hallelujah! Yeah. 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 Girls don't know how to praise them on one leg. Uh, we want two good legs to praise God. Amen. But if you know how to pick up this leg here, amen, and play them with this leg, amen, and balance on this leg right here, amen. But I will bless God if I have to do what I got to do. Amen. I'm going to pick it up, put it up. Why do I have I'm going to bless it because you've been good to me. Good eyes. Uh, some of you been hitting your eyes by the tax of the enemy. Uh, and you don't have two good eyes now. Uh, because you can't see what God is truly saying to you. You can't see it, you can't hear it. Because they're the things that you've been going through in life. It took a part out of you. And this is why the church is all that. Yeah. And if you're not careful, we already in the 20th century. We're already there. Yeah. We're three months into 2015. Yeah. And the church don't even know that we are so far behind time. That New Year already came yeah. around about September. Yeah. Uh, between August and September. If you look at it according to the Jewish calendar, yeah. huh? but the church is off balance because we are looking, we are so man prone yeah. that we do everything according to the man's system yeah. that we can't even li listen to what the Spirit is saying to the church. Our praise died because we had too much on our plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff that you put on your plate had nothing to do with God. Yeah. It was you going out there trying to make an end. Yeah. Uh, this had nothing to do with God. This had everything to do with you. You were you trying to make an end of something. Yeah. You wanted someone to think that you were highly in favor of God, but God was saying that you would allow me to do it. Some stuff you wouldn't have to be. Oh. Some stuff you wouldn't even have to be hit with if you would let me lead and direct your path. Amen. But now we want to break it on God. Uh, we want to blame it on him because, you know, everything is behind time. Uh -huh. uh, but we can't blame this one on him. Oh, yeah. Now I shall spring forth. Yes. Shall you not know that I'm getting ready to do this? I have already told you. If you have an ear to hear and eyes to see. I have already told you what I'm getting ready to do. Yes. The prophets of God, he's speaking to the prophets, but the prophets are not in tune with him. My Lord. Lord. God. Well, 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 we want to tell the same old word. Yes. Yes. We want to speak in the same old talk. Yes. We want to shout the same shout. Yes. Amen. But in this season right here, God is doing a new thing in the church. Yes. Old things that passed away. Right. There's no way you can put new wine in an old bottle. Hey. Right. And that's what the church said to you. Yes. Yes. Uh, you've been putting new wine in an old bottle. Yes. Yes. We've been wasting time huh? yes. with people that ain't even dedicated and don't even want to be saved. Uh, we've been wasting time with people that are not even sold out to God. Wow. And this is not the year to waste all I 
that is going to be more praying, yes. more fasting, because the flesh of the church is too hot.
is way out of the way. He will call you to have when nobody else has. And he will call you to experience when you never met. And this is what the church is not ready for. Before you say it. 
Huh? No, 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 wait till 12 o'clock to tell him, you know, God, I'm going to give you all of me. Just, just show me the way that you, that I should go. Now, now, you don't realize that there's something behind that. <laughs> I tell my people everywhere, every time something comes out of your mouth, you put them back for the word. So if you tell the pastor, be here, I'm going to be faithful to you, I'm going to be faithful to the church, I'm going to be faithful to God, he's coming back for the word. So when nobody else show up, you should be there. Because you don't told God, God, I, I'm gonna be faithful. Oh, yeah. Amen. The Bible says you be faithful over a few things. Yeah. I'll make you ruler yeah. over men. And this is why we are not being a ruler over men because we ain't faithful over love. Yeah. God has failed the test that I put them. I'm the one that was put into the test. And we failed the test. Because we could not handle what God would do. Only thing God was wanting to get you and reposition you for the next place in the kingdom. But only thing he wanted to do was that. Only thing you want to do is see. Churches are in competition. We are putting people up. This is the year that we won't be able to put everybody up. Yes, sir. Behind it. You gotta hear me. Everybody won't be able to come behind you. Because the Holy Ghost is coming in and he's reorganizing yeah. his sanctuary. This is why you're not here. Everybody's here coming. There's a disconnection that's taking place. There's some reconnect. And there's some disconnect. Come on. Because yes. everybody that's preaching ain't really preaching to God. Yes. They're preaching for pain. Yes. They're preaching to get a reputation. Yes. But they're not really preaching to reach heaven and make heaven the whole. Yes. You gotta walk through speak to your people. Yes. Uh-huh. Amen. Yeah. Yes! Oh, Let's don't wait to another year close. Get the pack out on Some of you that are here might not be here. You have to come from So while we're here, the Bible says we are the grace that might be our lives on the face of the earth. But I will go to work and give a man a full eight hours of productivity and won't even give God two for five because I'm not getting paid to bring them. But you better realize you are. Because he's keeping your life from the hands of the enemy. You might not be getting a paid check, but you get paid. 
He's keeping your mind. Oh, when it should be going like snap, crackle, and pop. He's keeping your mind. When the boss man can fire you in the day. He can find any reason to fire. He can make up a call. Don't wait for the time to let you. The sound will come to church. Who is the true worship? Who is the true worship? Those that are worship. Who is the true and the only reason you get mad at a true worshiper is because he's not worshiping. All the reason you get mad at somebody that knows how to dance Come on. is because you don't dance. Yeah. That's why you're mad. You mad because you don't spend time with them. Yeah. And that's what happens. We are mad in the body of Christ because we don't spend time with them. Amen. Know who you are. No. Yeah. Don't let nobody come to put you at. Why am I getting up here preaching your fancy front? What did God tell you to do today? Yeah. That was effective to the church. Right. That caused my baby to leave. Some of your babies were dead. Some of your babies was literally dead. But destiny caused your baby to leave again. And you come up in here and say you praise God. Because you're not living where you want to. Some of you getting ready to do it. What it is, not the hand. <laughs> In order for me to be successful, I'm going to get my bottom for it. You never seen a millionaire start from the top. Huh? It starts from the bottom and works its way up. Saints are trying to start from the top. Huh? But you realize when you start from the top, you never stay at the top. Because you gotta come back down. Huh? So now you don't know how to take it when you hit rock bottom because you started at the top. But if I stop at the start at the bottom and work my way to the top, I know what it is to be a baby. Hey! I know what it is to be a bastard. I know what it is to have, and I know what it is not to have. Because I already did that. But if I never started from the bottom, I will never know what it is. So I was just mad at everybody. Because I feel like I was done wrong. A millionaire don't know how to take it. If they don't have it. They take a gun. They kill them. So thanks to God has literally kept themselves sick. You don't know what it is. You don't know how to handle the rejection. You don't know what it is. You say, no. But you are here. And then you are back. So this year, if you come to me, I'm not going to wait for all I'm not going to do all these lines, prophesying to you. Prophesying to you, I do the same thing. Save your sweat. Huh? Over hard days. Come on. Either you gonna be saved for real, or you're not gonna be saved. 
Either you want to go to heaven, or maybe you're on your way to hell. That's, that's it. That's all we can tell. That's all we can tell. Ain't no holding place. No. 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 You already, you already decided where you're going. Huh? Life that I live don't speak for me. So if I live a righteous life, I'm going to heaven. Oh, yeah. If I live a hellish life, I'm on my way to hell. That's just it. Yeah. But you don't preach it, so I just want to, nobody get nothing here to preach it into heaven. Yeah. You better hear it. You better hear it all. Don't allow nobody to call you to tweak somebody into a place where they're not there. Amen. 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 We're allowing you yourself to be in the limelight. Uh-huh. It's not easy standing behind here. Huh? You gotta go through something being behind here. Huh? You gotta take some hits being behind here. And the church is not ready. Oh, no. But everybody want to preach. Everybody want to fight. I'll give you mine. Here's the day, I just want to sit out there. I know that's right. Here's the day, I want to sit out here. Huh? You can have my title. Yeah. I think you want a title so bad. Wow. Uh, I think you want a pastor so bad. Hey. Well, I'll give you my title. I'll take my hat off you. Hey. And see, can you really handle what God really? Amen. Yeah. Because it's not easy. Thank you. Hard knock the knock. It's time you gotta go with that. <laughs> See the others be happy. Yeah.
It was already happy to be here.